While the whole world was expressing its condolences to Russia in connection with the terrible terrorist act in the suburbs of Moscow that took place on March 22 and claimed the lives of more than 100 innocent civilians, the Ukrainian general staff decided to take advantage of the situation and on the evening of March 23, launched a massive missile strike on one of the most important cities of the Crimean Peninsula, Sevastopol. And today, the first reliable details of the attack on Sevastopol and the harsh response from the Russian side, finally appeared. At the same time, it is worth noting that the recent attack on Sevastopol was the most massive during the entire war. Numerous videos have already appeared on the web, where it is clearly visible how Russian air defense systems destroy dozens of NATO missiles in the sky over Sevastopol. Various sources claim that Russian air defense systems intercepted more than 20 missiles. Mostly these were NATO Storm Shadow cruise missiles. Later, the governor of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozayev, officially stated that the Russian air defense systems successfully repelled the missile attack, preventing the enemy from hitting the intended targets. At the same time, he admitted that fragments of downed missiles damaged five pleasure boats at Grafskaya Pier, three passenger and 13 school buses, along with two trolley buses. The governor of Sevastopol also admitted that fragments of downed NATO missiles killed one 65-year-old resident of the city and injured four 18-year-old young people. Moreover, the Sevastopol Rescue Service also confirmed that several missiles still managed to slip through the air defense and hit residential areas of the city. It is reported that one Storm Shadow cruise missile even hit one of the apartment buildings, but fortunately did not explode. Other cities and villages of Crimea were also attacked by NATO missiles that day. In particular, we are talking about the city of Simferopol and the village of Vardyskoy. Moreover, on that day, the Crimean bridge was also subjected to a massive missile attack. However, unfortunately for the Kiev regime and its so-called Western allies, all launched NATO cruise missiles and Ukrainian drones were successfully intercepted and destroyed by Russian air defense systems. By the way, numerous influential Russian telegram channels have once again confirmed the fact that the attack on the Crimean Peninsula was carried out by specialized NATO structures, and that it was high-ranking Western officers who personally led the launches of Storm Shadow cruise missiles. Moreover, during the attack on Crimea, an American reconnaissance drone RQ-4B Global Hawk was detected in the western part of the Black Sea, which corrected the flight route of NATO cruise missiles in real time. Thus, the direct involvement of high-ranking NATO officers in this conflict was once again confirmed. Meanwhile, Russia's tough response to the attack on Sevastopol did not take long to wait. So, on the night of March 24, at 2 a.m. Moscow time, dozens of 295ms strategic bombers took off from Olenia airfield in the Murmansk region. Three hours later, at 5 a.m. Moscow time, dozens of Russian cruise missiles of various types crossed the Ukrainian border and headed toward the Kiev, Vinnytsia, and Khmelnytsky regions. As it turned out, all these missiles were launched by 295ms bombers. Numerous explosions were recorded in cities such as Kiev, Vinnytsia, and Khmelnytsky. Unfortunately, there is still no exact data on what exactly was destroyed in these cities. However, a number of reputable Russian telegram channels claim that these were decision-making centers, where missile attacks on Crimea and the Crimean Bridge were supervised. At the same time, it is worth noting that not all the missiles fired hit the military facilities of these regions. 
As it turned out, some of the missiles abruptly changed course and headed towards the remote western regions of Ukraine. In particular, we are talking about such regions as Volyn and Lviv. In addition, dozens of kamikaze drones also headed towards these regions. Most likely in order to overload and identify the exact locations of the enemy air defense systems. In total, about 40 explosions were recorded in cities such as Lviv and Lutsk. According to the mayor of Lviv, Andriy Sadovyi, most of the Russian missiles and drones hit precisely Lviv. Andriy Sadovyi said that the targets of Russian missiles and drones were mainly energy facilities of the region. However, as it turned out, this was only the beginning of Russian missile attacks. On the afternoon of March 24, Russia launched another missile attack on the western part of Ukraine, but this time with the help of Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. It is reported that five supersonic high-altitude all-weather MiG-31K long-range interceptor fighter jets launched Kinzhal hypersonic missiles while in the airspace of Belarus. This time, numerous explosions were recorded in Lviv and the city of Stray, which is not so far from the Polish border. As it turned out, most of the hypersonic missiles hit military facilities located in the city of Stray. Monitoring groups recorded about four powerful explosions in this city, after which fires began, which still cannot be extinguished. The fact is that the Russians destroyed the staging airfield in this city, which was secretly created by NATO, specifically for American F-16 fighter jets. Moreover, Russian hypersonic missiles also destroyed underground NATO storage facilities there, which, according to preliminary data, contain spare parts for Western fighter jets and U.S. miniature air-launched expendable decoy missiles ADM-160A. But, that's not all. According to Russian military sources, as a result of this missile strike on this secret airfield, about 15 officers of the armies of NATO countries, mainly from Poland, were also destroyed, 